Today we're going to be grabbing four weapons and shields you need to try out in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Starting out with the Morrigan Guard, a unique light shield that has a chance to poison all enemies surrounding you each time you parry them. And the parry on light shields is super easy to do, so once you land it you'll be triggering this effect constantly. But this effect only gets better as you level up your character. For example, the skill Mizma, right at the back of the Raven skill tree, enemies who die from one of your poison attacks will release a toxic cloud around them, infecting those who enter. So essentially, anybody you kill with your shield's poison attack will trigger Myisma. So you can really just stack up tons of poison damage on your enemies and it's just ridiculous, you can kill crowds of people easily with this effect, especially if you also grab all of the poison mini perks as you're leveling up your character to increase poison buildup and the damage your poison does as well. I've not even fully specced my character into poison yet, but as you can see I have a poison buildup of 59 and a poison damage of 59, so my poison attacks are already absolutely ridiculous, but this shield makes it trigger even more often. Which is why you need to subscribe with the bell notification icon and we need to grab this shield right now. You can grab this in the west of England in Gloucestershire or Gloucestershire, right in the south of the region just here on the map, you will find Bella's Knapp. Approaching from the road through the stone arch, you're going to want to come up the steps here and you'll find a very old burial mound. Use Odin's sight to discover the keys around the area. You're going to need to pick these up. You're going to need to try and speak a proper sentence, ESO. The first tomb door key is just down there and we can run back outside and go around the edge. Once again, use Odin's sight to see where those keys are. If we go ahead and run down here, you'll find another tomb key. Obviously, there's loads of smoke in here. Now, you can clear this with a fire arrow, or you can just pick it up and be like, you know what? I don't care about cancer. I'll take that. And then for the next one, we're going to turn around and run all the way to the other side of the hill because there is another entrance into this burial mound. Here we are, kind of marked by this bonfire on top of it. Just smash through the hole here. And right at the back where these pots are, you'll find the third and final tomb door key. If you guys are enjoying the video so far, please do drop a like because now we need to head all the way back round the actual entrance of this tomb and you'll see you can't get inside so climb up onto the back here and right by this tree you'll find some fire pots just here at the back so pick that up and then run back down it does respawn if you miss by the way so yeah don't worry just aim at the bottom here and launch it right into the wall setting yourself on fire and now we find this chest and it has three keys Let's unlock it. The Morrigan's Guard is now ours, my friends. How exciting! Now when I talk about weapons and armor on this channel, I always like to fully upgrade them to mythical gold quality and also max out their stats completely so you guys can see if you want to make the decision based on the weapon stats and its ability whether or not it's worth you grabbing or not. Obviously if you want to find those upgrade materials and learn how to upgrade your weapons, I've got a guide linked below on that. It has an attack of 114, a block of 133. A crit percentage chance of 80, speed of 50, son of 161, and only a weight of 9, so it's a light shield. So the Battle Sprath is the next weapon we're going to be grabbing on our list. It has 156 attack damage, a stun of 182, a weight of 15, a speed of 34, which is actually one of the fastest two-handed axes in the entire game, and also a crit pre of 84, which I believe is around 30% chance to critical hit. Now, the ability on this weapon increases attack damage when surrounded by three or more enemies, which obviously in siege battles is going to make this 
a very useful item indeed. But it actually gives you an additional bonus when you're surrounded by four and again at five enemies. The bonus stays active for 10 seconds when you're not surrounded anymore. So essentially it just gives you ridiculous damage whenever you're outnumbered by any enemies. And that bonus starts at plus 5, then gives you plus 10, and then plus 15 attack. Now obviously that plus 15 attack in siege battles is going to pretty much always be active, and it is a ridiculously good weapon specifically for siege battles in that sense. So I definitely recommend picking this weapon up and just equipping it for every siege battle because it makes your damage go through the roof. This one is located in Lincolnshire. Just here on the map, you will find a large lake in the center of Lincolnshire itself. It's located on the island of St. Helen's String in the middle. So here we are standing outside of the lake sort of island itself. If you go into sneak mode and use Odin Sight, you'll actually see there's a key, which we're gonna need to grab in a moment. Do take care of the watchman on top of these towers though. I recommend just climbing up on this pillar so you can get over the wall, drop down again, and then you can easily just assassinate the targets. For some reason I'm like bugged out here so I couldn't actually get the assassination ability, but oh well. Once he's dead, you can loot the tree and unlock the chest. And then you'll have the battle spath. So the third weapon on our list we're going to be grabbing is the longbow. Now, this is a pretty damn cool bow in itself. I mean, it just looks absolutely beautiful in my opinion. I love the design. The attack on it, though, is 136. The stun is 141. Headshots do 96 damage. It has a speed of 23, so quite slow. Its crit pre is 96, and it has a weight of 16, so it's rather hefty. However, its ability is pretty damn awesome, especially considering if any enemies get up close to you, it's a really cool defense mechanism. Throw a smoke bomb after a close range headshot. Every time this triggers, you'll actually be able to just run away and hide again, and then carry on doing sneak shots on the enemies. Utility wise, it is pretty damn incredible, this weapon. Also, while enemies are in the smoke, it seems like they can't see your attack, so they don't block you, parry you, or dodge you at all. You can just beat away on them. So to grab this weapon, you must come here on the map to Lincolnshire. In the city of Lincoln itself, you will find a hidden staircase located just here above the entrance to the city of Lincoln. You will find a bathhouse looking building, and you're going to need to climb the walls of this building to gain entry. Once on top, you can easily just jump down and gain access. You actually have to shoot the floorboard just here in order to actually get inside. But then you can just drop down inside. Let's grab out a torch and run into the darkness below. Just carry on running downwards into this gloomy tunnel until you get all the way to the end. Do take care of the bandits you'll find along the way though. <gasps> I'm just going to come and hide under here. And carry on running all the way to the end of the sewers here. Kind of like an underground sort of section that is relevant in the storyline. But uh, it's pretty simple just to go ahead and follow along. There are not many enemies here. But you will find some bandits once you reach the old Lincoln sewers itself. Which we're just going to go ahead and kill right now. Once you enter, just come to the right here, go up this ladder, and then we can easily just sort of run across the room without drawing any unwanted attention. Once you get here, drop down. Do take care though, because there's two enemies that will be there. You can easily kill them. And then we can go ahead and assassinate this guy who's standing in front of the treasure chest, which we need to grab. How on earth did that... What? And then we can loot the treasure. To grab the longbow. So taking a look at the fully upgraded mythic gold quality plank and buckler heavy shield, 
It has an attack damage of 144, a block of 179, crit percentage 77, a speed of 22, very slow indeed, a stun of 179 though, and a weight of 16. So a very slow, heavy shield, but it really does protect you, especially making those parry attacks super easy, increasing heavy damage when parrying by plus 12 damage, which is a huge boost. Not to mention that that boost lasts 10 seconds. So pretty much in combat, you're going to be parrying people, I would say, every 10 seconds at least. So this shield pretty much gives you a permanent plus 12 heavy damage bonus. And usually after you parry your enemy, they pretty much are open for a heavy attack, meaning you can really milk the most out of this effect. And to get this one, we need to come all the way back over here on the map to East Anglia. In the east! Who'd have thunk? In the southwest of the map, not too far from this viewpoint just here. Right in the bottom southwest, you'll find Sutton Hall. It's basically a bandit camp on the coast that you can easily find some armor inside. First, let's just take out this guard here. So he doesn't give us away. Then you're going to come down this ladder just here. And there is a secret cave within. Do take care because there's a few guards down here as well. Though they should probably be sleeping or relaxing. Making for easy targets. Carry on through the cave and you'll then come to another area you can drop down. Hey! Here you can find the key. Among some other treasure. Make sure you pick up the key. Come down here, smash open the wall, and then... you will find an explosive barrier that's kind of blocked. Listen, you dung handlers, Chief told me to patch up the wall and I did it. Our oil's just beyond it, so don't wave torches around unless you want to join the feast of the dead in their mouldering caves. So if you go ahead and get a torch out, you can actually throw it over here and it will explode the barrels on the other side. stay catchlight. Once the fire is cleared, you can go inside and grab the loot for yourself. Plank and buckler. Oh, by the way, guys, if you want my whole armor set, the Brigadine armor set, I've got another video I already made on where you can get the entire set and also some other cool weapons in that video too. So I recommend checking it out. I'll link it below. It's just I get people asking me every single video I make. So yeah, drop a like if you found it helpful. Subscribe with the bell icon for more and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day and goodbye.